That's where I reckon they're going in. I reckon they're going, coming along here, so I need to clear all this mess up. They're going up the wall there, up over the top, and then getting underneath the lead up on between the two dormer windows up there, or underneath the lead on the chimney. Because that's where all the noise is coming from at night. So those of you that watch my, or follow my Instagram, you'll know I've had a little bit of a problem with a mouse getting in the roof of our house. And he's got actually into the um, insulation. So we've got um, 100 millimeters of Salatex, which is the silver foiled, foam filled boards for one. They got into the Salatex and they've been gradually burrowing up through it. I suspect that's really nice and warm in there. But if anybody has experienced mice in the house at night, it sounds like a herd of elephants going through there. There's probably only one or two mice. Now I'm pretty sure it's a wood mouse, which is about two and a half times the size of a house mouse. Um, I think that's what's in there because that's what we had last time. And I baited them and I, I sorted them out last time. So yesterday, Again, if you follow Instagram, you'll see the picture. I took a couple of sockets off the walls um, around the stud work, and I put bait in behind behind the walls. People were saying, oh, why don't you put a trap in there or put a trap down, and you know, you're going to have a dead mouse and it's going to smell. Well, one, to get a mouse trap through a double socket hole, through the stud work, and onto the floor either side, without setting it off, it's, well, it's almost impossible and the retrieval and getting it backwards and forwards, it means taking a socket on and off the wall, and I'm not doing that. Um, a wood mouse, if he dies in there, it's not like a dirty great big rat that's going to take weeks and weeks to, weeks to desiccate. It will not take long to desiccate out there, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to smell anything. I didn't last time. So I am going to get up on the roof later on and just have a look around and see. Um, I know there are some of the, some of the lead work, some of the um, cement, the way in or in the network has fallen out over the period of time. So maybe I just need to go in and, and redo some of that. Um, but we're going to look at other ways of maybe stopping Mr. Mouse getting in my house. Right. Well, that will be later on today if I get around to it, if we get enough time. This morning, Dave and I have got to go back to Stacks in Bristol to pick up a few more bits of the kitchen, including the cheeky git. Somebody, when we went around and picked up all the kitchen units, there were times when we had to leave the trolley. It wasn't worth taking it all the way down to aisle because we were picking up something at the end of the aisle. We just wanted to walk down, get it and come back. Somebody pinched the extractor fan hood off the trolley. And we only noticed it this morning because the guys are in there fitting the kitchen now and Dave came through and he said, did you, did you move the extractor fan? I said, no. He said, we did get one, didn't we? I said, oh yeah, I remember I remember all the hassle going through which because to choose and pick the one we wanted. We've even got the filters for it, which we have, we've got the filters for it. And Dave said, yeah, I'm sure. I said, can I have the invoice? So I had to go and get into the file, get the invoice out. It's not on there. Now we know, both of us know, we put it on the trolley, not on the invoice. So the only conclusion we can draw is that somebody, while well, our backs were turned, went, ooh, that's just what I want, and nicked it. I'm never going to find that person, but I would like to say that if I did, I'd like to take my secretaries and remove a finger, the tea leaf, because I would never do a thing like that. Ever, 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 ne no, never. No. Never. Actually, kind of reminds me of something that uh, the wife and I witnessed some years ago. At least I think we witnessed it, or did I dream it? We were 
food shopping somewhere and we're following this person around and as we're going around saw somebody looking at another person's trolley reach in pull something out of their trolley while they were getting something else off the shelf and put it in their own trolley and kept going so it's not just stacks and stuff like that there there are some people out there that are proper what would be a good term to describe some of that oh asshole that's the one yeah <coughs> assholes right okay you guys need a bail don't you you could also do with a bit of clean bedding might have to do that later on because i'm going to get shy of time so if food's more important for a second you're gonna to have to go up the bed i'm gonna put a bale in there for you and then i can go shopping for the bits and bobs i want and then you can all have a clean bed when i get back This floor is quite wet, so I'm going to see if I can get some bedding in here before I go. Someone's got a tree falling on their greenhouse. I don't think it's to be today.
Okay, I'll freely admit it was a bit of a rush job because we're going to Bristol in six minutes ish. But at least I got some drawing light on there. I'll do that side later. Come on then. Don't be shy. Now I'm happy to go. Before I wasn't, now I am. Don't need that anymore. Their bed's okay. Okay. So as far as this lot's concerned, I am pretty sure now we've had all our cabs. I, I'm not expecting any more. Um, the bull left us two weeks early, earlier than I expected to, so I don't think he caught those couple of youngsters. Right. Back to Bristol. See, cities and me don't really get on. It's not that I hate the cities. Um, some of the architecture and some of the building is fantastic. Some of it's dire. Um, I just don't deal with all those people. Too many people. I'd rather be a hermit. 